Spanky's quest. Super Nintendo game that Vitor also admitted. I do must have tested this because like I said I, I don't remember seeing this game in the pool at all. It's a, a Super Nintendo platformer, so I can pretty much expect Maurice not to like it. <laughs> oh, it also feels like those arcadey one-screen kind of kinds of games that Maurice also do really doesn't like. That one guy who has an early lead. Hey, up with you. How's it going? I know this game, so I thought I'd stop by. Hey. So, so you're a little monkey. You throw up these bubbles, and uh, they each turn into a sports ball. So really, this is a sports game. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You can bounce the bubble on your head and it'll change colors or three times uh, and then it'll just stay the, the basketball at the end. Uh, each one has a different attack though. I think the, the volleyball is the most powerful one because it just stays in the hitbox. D this game is crazy. So I, I guess we have the, the tier list, official tier list of sports balls. Baseball is weaker than soccer ball that is weaker than a volleyball. We all know now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is something I'm not too familiar with, but I think they all do the same amount of damage. It's just the attack radius and how long they stay in the hitbox. So each level you collect a key. If you actually get your bubble on a key, it turns right into the big basketball one. And then you need a number of keys to unlock the door. Sometimes there's more keys in a level. And the door uh, needs though. This game has actually been in MT before. Yeah, it has infinite lives now, but it used to be uh, hard game overs. Yeah, I think we only did until like World 2. It was, it was pretty rough. Yeah, I saw I saw the previous races that were World 2, but then everyone was complaining about the co continuous system in the comments. It's probably good that we changed it. Wow, Tog is three areas you had so far. Well, and later on we'll get to a, an in interesting mechanic. But uh, it's pretty much this game for the whole the whole time. There are hidden walls sometimes. You can put your bubble into a wall and sometimes it'll disappear. Uh, which can allow for warps, I think. Or bonus games. Ah, oh, there's one of them. So the uh, the hats will give you different powers. I think the top hat does an instant max bubble if it bumps in your, off your head. I think it's still a good idea to collect all the keys when they're easy, because even if you can exit the, the level, uh, and the level has all the keys you need to unlock the door, um, you can sometimes just skip whole levels by going from door to door. Oh, 
so the keys carry over. Yeah, and there's the power of the volleyball, especially against bosses. Kinda looks like Maurice has been catching up a bit these last few levels. I'm not sure if just that the boss is taking long. Yeah, I didn't catch the beginning of Maurice's uh, play. I'm not sure why they're so far behind, but he's definitely getting a hang of it. The bosses have so much health. Yeah, the one guy has been here so long. This boss just won't die. Oh, I was dead. Yeah, so if you can't get the um, if, if when the apple comes down like that, it might be a good idea to get a few baseballs in just quickly because um, I'm not sure they'll notice this, but its enemies only take one or two hits usually. Uh, but everything does the same amount of damage as far as I know. It does feel like infinite, having infinite lives changes the way you play this game significantly because that one guy is just rushing into whoever has the key and spamming balls. Yeah, the animation for it is actually pretty uh, pretty quick. It, it might have been might have been better to have a shorter goal, but have an infinite continues instead. So you still have to watch your lives, be more careful. Um, but I mean, this is a valid race. The so enemies can sometimes pick up keys, and I think this is actually required at some point. Um, but then you destroy the enemy, and the key goes right direct directly to you. It used to be a four stage difference, now it's a one stage difference. Still a lot a lot of race to go, so still very much a race here. Definitely and I feel like Maurice does better in longer races, even though he likes shorter races. Yeah, it's funny, he really likes shorter races, but also the last race I cast here, he was also very far behind in, in stage 1. So how much he likes shorter races is not compatible with how well he does in them. Oh no, Maurice going the wrong way. He saw that cloud and he thought to go back, but now it's the double back. So that one guy exits with an extra key here. That'll be helpful. Oh, so does Maurice. Completing the levels at the same time, so still very much a one stage difference. I think the hard hat lets you take a hit without losing a life, and then the straw hat lets you float. You see the straw hat just to the right of the um, the cannon there. I guess not losing a life is not very relevant for this race. I think it does prevent the animation too, you just, the hat pops off. Oh, never mind. Lee change! It, <laughs> that's not the case. Still have the animation, so yeah, definitely, definitely a useless hat in this race.
And if you destroy the enemies at those levers, the the fire will stop shooting, but Maurice just walks around them, so not too big of an issue. It doesn't feel like it's too hard to dodge that fire. No, not really, but when there's a lot of enemies, it can, it can be easier just to stop the, uh, the fireballs. Of course, you know, with infinite lives, it changes. Maybe it's not even necessary. <laughs> oh, that one guy having trouble with getting this guy with the key. Maurice maintaining the lead, but that one guy is pretty close behind. I sniped the key, but the other enemy got it. Unlucky. I didn't know the enemies could actually capture the key while it's flying towards you. Apparently, Maurice knows that now. Well, what happened to that one guy? He looked away. He was on 27 a while ago. Did he miss the key? Oh, he missed that key. Okay. Backtracked for it. This is such a fast game, it's really hard to keep track of what's happening on both screens at the same time. A bit, yeah. That, that, okay, so I think there's a secret door to the left in that wall, which uh, either goes to a bonus stage or uh, skips a level or two. Or he's not finding it quite. The, uh, the top hat's really really good on this level, on 2-9. Whoa, that one guy just caught up. <laughs> if he gets the top hat, you'll see. It's just an instant uh, basketball and take out these enemies really quickly. Oh, and that one guy found the bonus room. Let's see if he goes for it. the TR does. But Maurice is just gonna go. Yeah, I don't think hats tr uh, um, carry over between levels anyway. So this pineapple is a little odd. His AI is to rush you right up to the point it, but he's gonna hit you and then start jumping. So he scares you and then if you jump he hits you. Maurice has caught on to his pattern really quickly. like that one guy avoided the bonus room, decided to go uh, straight to the exit. Probably a good call. The one guy is just jumping, but he's jumping away, so he's not getting hit by the boss. Hmm. Yeah, I think the, um, the most dangerous part is the initial point where you don't know what's going to happen. That the first time he charges is really scary. Now the bonus rooms are pretty easy to uh, clear quickly. You you just bounce a like a giant bubble, 
And if you just avoid the bubble that pops and it ends the bonus room, it's not too big a deal. I don't remember if it warps you ahead one level. Or if it's just a, um, a pass for the current level. Marie's doing some good work with these uh, sniping baseballs on the enemies with keys. Just the precision is really good. Making these shots count, it's now in a kind of a bad position. Yeah, in this kind of position, I, I would say just get some basketballs with the number of enemies you need to hit. And the, just the spread on the basketballs is really good. Yeah, that probably would be better than trying to snipe with baseballs. So those uh, stars are bumpers, they'll just automatically uh, cause you to take a full jump. And then those canisters are the spawn points for enemies. As you kill more, they'll they'll open up canned fruits and vegetables. It's just fruits. It might be all fruits. Oh no, Maurice missing that guy. The soccer balls. That was so close. Yeah, I think this is one of those games where enemy collision doesn't exist off screen. Maurice using the iframes, the good effect. a bit lost on how to collect the key that is on the other side. Yeah, I think there's a breakable wall somewhere, but he, he's definitely not throwing enough uh, bubbles to find it. And now that one guy's <laughs> caught up and passed the level. The enemy decided to help that one guy and just bring the key to him. Race not too far behind now. It's still a lead change. Close race. And we're going up to world five. Yeah, through world five. I was going to say it wasn't even a lead, but now that that one guy has a one stage lead, very small lead, but very back and forth race. Also, I was wrong. You can hit enemies off screen. That was just unlucky of more from a race earlier. Uh, so these bouncers, if you hold the jump button, you get more height. So you can control it a little bit, but you still bounce automatically. This jump is giving Marie so much trouble, and there's no other way around it. You lost a lot of time trying to find a different way to go up. No, there, yeah, it's infinite lives cheap. There's no health. If you get hit, you lose a life. If you lose all your lives, you're supposed to have a continue to restart the um, 
the, the current area. If you lose all your continues, then you would have to start the area from the first stage. But you, if like if they lost at the boss, or if they game over it at the boss and lost all their continues, um, they would start at three one, I believe. It's a password system. That one guy having trouble keeping the holes in his hat. Enemies are giving Mori so much trouble. Yeah. But you can see they also do a little dance when they hit you. I'm so happy about it. Actual kiwis. Kiwis look like kiwis. You will get to see what that baseball hat does. Maurice can keep hold of it. He can't. It's unfortunate we don't get to see all, what all the hats do. Some of them are really helpful. I feel like 310 uh, that one guy had a lot of the enemies bring him the keys, and Maurice has to actually seek them out. So the same reason, lost a bunch of time on 3-7 or 3-6, I don't remember. saying earlier that infinite continues would change the um, the strategy of this race you'd want to take levels a lot more uh, cautiously you'd also want to take uh, strategic um, intentional deaths at the beginning of levels if you're low on lives That one guy died a lot more efficiently with this boss. He's just spent a really long time not even hitting it at all. Yeah, this is... Uh, with, with infinite lives, I, I would just charge into the boss and take the, uh, take the animation loss and just use volleyballs all the time. Is you're not losing you're losing more time by waiting for it to come down. Or to wait for it to finish its attack animation. Oh now we see that one guy using the top hat. It's instant basketballs. So what is the lore behind basketballs coming out of top hats? <laughs> I don't know. I don't need a lore like that. It's like a, it's a magic, magic hat. It makes it the most powerful bubble. Yeah, four three is kind of like an auto scroller level. You gotta wait for the enemies to come down all through the, the maze above that you can't see. Maybe more race to get a little bit luckier on that and catch back up. 
three level difference, one of the biggest leads we had in this entire race. Not counting the first level, yeah. Yeah. Good snap from Ares. Once you catch up, probably needs to keep doing that. Still three levels behind. Now, one of the things is about these platforms that you can jump up through is you can't jump down through them. So a lot of the um, routing is how to get to those areas. Oh no, Maurice popped the bubble too soon. And again. Five keys in four or five, pretty long level. Just ignoring the last key, I would too. Oh, no, Maurice lost his top hat. That's not good. Oh. Oh, for the uh, watermelon boss, no. But all, all the all the balls do the same amount of damage. It's just how long they linger in the hitbox. So you could just spam baseballs right next to him. It would be faster, I think. Nothing's really holding that one guy back. Maurice might be running out of time soon. Unless there's like a huge wall in World, world 5. Yeah, and I, I don't think the bosses get too difficult to understand. So it's, it's really going to come down to the levels. Maurice did pick up the extra key that one guy left behind, so it might be helpful. But I was already at the boss, so... Hitting those volleyballs. Oh, well, it's good you don't lose your vertical momentum jumping up there where he's got hit. But that one guy's done with the boss, so Maurice would be losing hope right about now. Maybe lost hope when he saw it was Super Nintendo though. Probably. <laughs>
Maurice could still catch up with the boss. There might be enough time. So I want to have a tricky shot here. That one guy's losing quite a bit of time. We know Maurice is good at sniping enemies. Not as good when those enemies are bosses. Just keeps waiting for the boss to come down. To waste so much time. Yeah, the Maris is very passive with these bosses. It seems not. You gotta be more proactive. Jump up there and get the bubble in his hitbox when he's all the way up there. Oh, that bubble should have. That was like a frame off. Has a sort of timing down now. If Maurice can keep this yeah. up, it wouldn't be too slow. World time seems annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It's everything you can think of. And if uh, if Maurice can land these uh, trick shots a lot e easier than the, that one guy, he might have a chance to catch back up. That's all Maurice wanted. A lot of trick shots. There we go. First try snipe on that enemy. Yeah, that was well done. Now they're on the same stage. Suddenly we have a race again. And Marie's technically pulls ahead. I didn't. I didn't even notice when. Did, what? <laughs> That's the magic of Maurice. Wow. Yeah, that one guy's having a lot of trouble getting these. I um, you know, couldn't get it through the wall, so I ended up killing the enemies and spawning those uh, those cans, and the cans picked up the keys. So Bob is gonna. Hot on his tail, so... Oh, and the bubble hits the enemy, not the actual ball. Oh. Covers that pretty quickly. Yeah, some of these uh, have fake floors too. Okay, I think the, the tiara crown, the, the one with wings, gives you a speed, speed boost. So that'd be really good to keep. Of course I say that. <laughs> it fell all the way down too, and I need to go all the way back up. Not timing one to be losing when the race is this close. Yeah, I wonder uh, the mindsets of both racers because it's it's obvious that to us that they've lost time in, in various ways, but they would have no idea how close this is. I know Maurice talks a lot about how he likes hard games because he knows it's hard both for him and for the opponent. 
So when he got this game and he realized you can just damage boost or everything because you have infinite lives, he probably started panicking a bit. Because in a game like this, every mistake is very important. It could cost you the race. It's true, you don't lose progress at all. You just It's always forward progress, so any mistake is just time loss. There's, a, there's not going to be a... Um, somebody else put it, I think it was, was might have been Maurice, said uh, you don't have room to allow the opponent to make mistakes or something like that. Maurice opting to ignore that extra key. Just going. In a race like this, and you're seeing extra keys lying around, how would you approach it? Would you take the time to go after them when you can? I mean, we've seen some keys that are fairly tricky, right? Maurice lost a bunch of time on that key that was on the other side of the wall and he didn't know how to grab it. So I probably would grab any extra keys I could, and then if a key is giving me too much trouble, I, I can skip it. Yeah, like this one, he's having to chase down the enemies. That took the keys away. Still maintaining a stage, stage and a half lead. This might be uh, coming down to how well Maurice can handle the boss. I right, we know Tog is uh, not shy about jumping up and resting bubbles right next to them if they're floating around up top. Yeah, we'll probably come down to to the boss fight. Maurice is not as aggressive. He can do well on the bosses once he gets a good cycle, a good loop like you got in boss four. Yeah, I agree with Myth. If if it's if one's sitting there and I can see it, and it's just like I don't know, jump or two away, I'd probably go down and get it. Yeah, that sounds like a good rule of thumb. I saw them skipping some keys that I wouldn't. Like, they were really close by. The key is running away control. from Maurice. Well, same thing's happening to that one guy. Oh no! <laughs> the enemy gets away through the cannon. This game can be me. Where he's not realizing that he has all the keys. Yeah, what, what is Maurice doing? I don't know. Maybe he saw another key? Oh, it's the boss next, right? Uh. Yeah, he was like. Realize right next to the door. Did he not see the door? Uh, maybe not. Maybe he was too focused on all those enemies. Mm. It's gonna be tragic if Maurice loses. Okay, okay, now yeah, now he must yeah, see the door. Right. Oh, that's right. There is a five ten. These enemies running away with the keys. <laughs> that one guy might not get caught up like that though, and I have a very close race. I think uh, I'd give the boss advantage to that one guy though, just based on how he's handled all the others. Oh, that snipe midair was really good though. These these sniping levels 
are definitely Maurice's forte. Okay, here we are, boss five. Oh no, the boss attacks high up. It's not what Maurice wants to see. Yeah, so this is the boss pattern. You can bait those guys off if you're standing right under the boss, so they won't even target you. And you can hit up a volleyball right up into there. Oh, that was unlucky. And then he does this whirling pattern. Oh, is Maurice jumping That's up it. into the ball? He is. Have you ever seen it? Oh no. Oh, and if you get hit, the, the ball stops. Uh, yeah. But that one guy is struggling with his last enemy. So sad. <laughs> yeah, this part is so mean. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Sees the door. I don't think time, for, time for that one guy. Plus, Maurice keeps missing these bubble pops. Basketball hits. Volleyball. Volleyball just barely. Yeah, that was way too far away. Probably decided to stand more far away so it doesn't get interrupted by the, the attacks. Yeah, I think uh, Maurice was expecting the boss to um, move a little closer that time. Let's see if that one guy can snipe. Yeah, the... These enemies are very slippery. Okay, that one guy gets the last key. Yeah, and the boss, Maurice too late. gets the boss, too late. Very close, Reese. Very close. Oh, 6 1 is already a boss? This is like a boss it's a, rush? It's a boss rush, yeah. Since we're not going to see it, the, the, uh, the background kind of shows it off, but there's the 6. The, yeah, uh, five bosses and then the last boss, the final boss. Is the last boss difficult? Why is this not a beat the game goal? It, I'm not sure. I mean, it could have been, I suppose. But it, it is just a boss rush. Um, same five bosses and then a final boss, which is a little tricky because uh, it has two phases. The first phase you beat down. Uh, the second phase actually um, has a little tiny hitbox you have to know to hit, and then spawns uh, like a mid boss in between. Uh, chances to hit that enemy, so it, it can get a little uh, irritating. Hello, Maurice. Hi. Welcome. How was the race? How did you feel? Um. Uh... I'm usually not good at these games where your means of killing enemies is weird. And this is super weird. This is the weirdest means of killing enemies I've ever seen. Yeah, sports balls. Make, How'd you like your sports game? Like making a bubble and then like the more you bounce it, it's like a different attack. It's not even necessarily better. Like I think this, uh, what that one guy is doing right now, the volleyballs, I think those are really good against bosses, but maybe they don't do as much damage. I don't know. 
there's no feedback really. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but all the ball all the balls do the same amount of damage. It just depends how long they linger in the hitbox. Yeah, so what I thought is probably then correct and also what that one guy thought, that volleyball is really good against bosses, like the yellow bubble. Yeah, definitely. That's probably the best one. Uh other than that I forgot where the gold was too often. That was dumb. <laughs> like, did you have to keep rechecking? How did you but, know that that done then? Uh-huh. No, no, the goal of the level. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I, we noticed you lost track of it in 5.9 specifically. Yeah, yeah, I thought, oh, I gotta go up. And then, oh, going up is really hard. <laughs> I didn't even have to go up. Too hard, <laughs> one might say. Yeah. Hello. <clears throat> GG. Hey, good game. Yeah. GG, so the race was really close, even though in the end it is a you know, three minute difference, but you guys were back and forth quite a bit. I think personally I blame 5 2. 5 2 killed me. Almost 5 2. That uh, was the one with all the cannons. You had to kill the enemies so that the ones would respawn that had the keys on them. Oh, yeah, which was, it was basically just like a, like a gauntlet or something. A, not not the gauntlet. Um, it was after the gauntlet, I think. Oh. Yeah, um, so were the, were the ones you had to drop the bubbles onto, maybe. Yeah, Maurice dropped bubbles through the middle and caught the keys without killing any any of the enemies. That's where you took the lead this last time. Is it ah. the one where there was like no way to get to the right side of the level? No, this one was cannons on the side and uh, like a block of five windows with. Um, enemy spawners inside, and the keys were in the mid middle of those five blocks on either side. There's yep. just two keys. I don't know. So, uh, Barely the, the you way... didn't have problems there. <laughs> <laughs> the way the uh, the developers seem to intend it is you, you kill off the enemies that are flying through the cannons, which will spawn the enemies inside the blocks that will grab the key and bring it out to you. But Maurice yep. just threw bubbles from the top. Oh yeah. Uh I tried to I was not able to get the bubble timing. Yeah. Well, I mean at least I incorrectly identified where I messed up. But GG. Um that one level where you couldn't get to the right, were you really supposed to wait for this stupid enemy to like go down the stairs and then hit him while he's on the right step? Uh I mean that's what you both did. I think there's an invisible wall you can break on that level, but I'm not I'm not sure specifically. I don't recall. Last time I played through this was years ago, so... Um, this game seems like it would suck if you don't have infinite lives. Yeah, I so think the I died lives... like 200 times. <laughs> the, you have lives, you have continues, and you have your, your password for game overs. So the continues would take you back to the beginning of the, the current uh, area. And then the game over would bring it back to the current stage. So you'd start on 3 1 again or whatever. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't want that. When this is an empty before, it was um, it was like that. It just continues uh, up to World 2. Yeah, it seems like you were able to identify these ticking points because the way that this race went was you were really close until the level where the, the right side was blocked off. And then that one guy took the lead and got all the way to 5-2 and when Maurice was still in 4-7 or something. And then got really stuck on 5-2 and then Maurice caught back up and did the perfect snipe and took the lead until the end of the race. So really? I guess when when you were like in 4-7 and it took you so long to get the key that was in, in the right side of the level, did you did you think, oh no, I'm, I'm losing this race now or, or what? I uh, I don't know. It, it seemed weird, and if there was no other way on uh, other than like stupid destructible blocks that you can't identify, I I wouldn't really think oh my opponent's gonna figure this out necessarily so much faster than I did. So like that said, one guy. Hmm. Oh sorry, go ahead. Like I said, the most time I wasted was forgetting that I already saw the exit and wandering <laughs> around the level looking for it. Yeah, I think we identified that um, that one guy did the bosses a little faster, but Maurice 
uh, caught up just based on pure sniping skill with those bubbles. Uh, that happened throughout the race. Yeah, that one guy was a lot more aggressive on the bosses. Maurice didn't seem to want to jump into his bubbles as much. Yeah. On the last two hits or something, I realized that using the iframes to like get the bubble in position would be a good idea. <laughs> that was kind of late to make use of that. Yeah, that was what the one guy was doing the, the entire race. So he was getting a, a, a bit of time in the, in the bosses. Um, hey. One last question to that one guy. How did you feel when you uh, exposed the um, the hidden door? Um, I saw it was to the left of something. So the first thing I did was like think about that pace bin. Oh, maybe this was that thing I have to reveal. I tried to hit it a couple more times and nothing seems to happen. I ended up confused and then I guess I noticed the different door and kind of forgot about that one, thankfully. So yeah, I that, kind of just, it, it exited my mind. Yeah, at least a little bonus level. Oh, well, I'm glad I didn't end up in there. <laughs> That's not good. Well, GG. I'm glad I took the lead from Maurice at least for a little bit. You know, honestly, that was a victory for me. I was biting my time. Of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was fun. GG. GG's. Uh, Maurice, you move on to fight Eatsil next. And that one guy, we'll see you next year. Or yeah, you know, next year. Next MT. Oh, uh, yeah. I went 2-2, two, two, then he went 4-2, next I'll go 6-2. That's just how it goes. Yeah, it's a pattern. Thank you. That was fun, mm. uh, fun MT. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the stream. Restream. Bye. Thanks, FFAO. I guess so Maurice was making that race exciting. Let's see if we have more races that are going to be exciting. Oh, only, only tomorrow. We have a race in a day and 35 minutes, and then in a day and three hours we have Pika Balls versus Andy, which we were supposed to have yesterday, but the lies, too many lies. So yeah, two, two exciting races tomorrow, and we'll see everyone then. Yeah, see you then. Yeah. Stop by soon.